What's going on with the truckers? If you guys did not know, today they made it actually about truck drivers. and the supply chain and basically they wanted to go over on the White House lawn about what they're trying to do to basically preserve trucking. They talk about the Secretary of Department of Transportation how he went on one ride with a truck driver. We talked to truck drivers in every part of the country. As part of that I got to spend some time on the road in the passenger seat of a semi with a driver in Illinois named Lola who I think is here today. There you are. Hey. Good seeing you. A counselor when my children are having issues. Right. <laughs> yeah. They got it looking good. And from that, he has concluded that basically they need more women in trucking. They want to help more veterans get into trucking. They want to help states find infrastructure for more truck parking and work with trucking pay. Pride truckers take in their work and the challenges they face. Their voices have shaped the work we took up in the president's trucking action plan. And we just completed the 90-day sprint to get these actions off the ground, so I'm pleased to provide an update. In order to create debt-free pathways into the career for more people, including more women and drivers of color, we teamed up with the Department of Labor to grow the number of registered apprenticeships for high-quality paid on-the-job training. We're investigating truck leasing arrangements to make sure that they're above board. We're working on truck driver pay, including those hours when drivers don't get paid even though they're very much on the job because they're waiting for somebody else. We're making it easier for veterans to join the trucking workforce, partnering with the Department of Defense, and of course, we are fixing roads and bridges across America. One trucker told me infrastructure is our workplace, and now we are enhancing that workplace thanks to unprecedented funding through the President's infrastructure law. And yes, that includes working with states to use that funding to build more safe truck parking because we know that that is such a central issue for truckers today. These actions are going to help us recruit more drivers and, just as importantly, retain them. To help keep down shipping delays, rein in the price of goods at a time when we're fighting inflation with everything we've got, and of course supporting these essential workers is just the right thing to do. I'm proud of all we got done in this 90-day sprint. Uh, but I promise you to the trucking community, and I promise you, Mr. President, this is just the beginning. We're going to keep our foot on the gas to deliver for the drivers who deliver for us every single day. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if it's smoke and mirrors, but, I mean, this is what they're saying here. And you know what? If that all came from one ride with the truck driver, I wonder what would happen if they went on more rides and actually had people in the seat that understood trucking talk about trucking in the white house but mother truckers here's the full link on nbc and you guys could listen in and tell me is this smoke and mirrors or is election up i mean what's going on here but as far as what they're talking about i would like more truck parking i would like better pay and i mean all this is something that truck drivers have been griping about for years but here's the link to the full video i just wanted to show this and share this with you guys and mother truckers comment down below let me know what you guys think